you say that um, deporting undocumented migrants would be bad for the economy because undocumented migrants today pay taxes and do valuable work. Could you amplify that a little bit? Right. Um, so there's a, there's a, depending on what pool you look at, there's about 11 to 12 million undocumented workers right now in the U United States. M at least of the undocumented workers, most of them are, are low or skill. With, with legal immigrants, about 35% of those actually have a college education. And the uh, belief of the Trump administration is that if, as you, um, act, if you were to, in fact, get rid of undocumented workers, that, um, in fact, or what we simulated over the summer, depending on what budget model, was deporting 10% a year, so they would all be deported within a decade, that those jobs would get replaced with kind of native-born workers. And that's just simply not empirically true. Um, when you uh, export undocumented workers, those jobs really are not replaced by native-born workers. And it actually turns out that undocumented workers, um, contrary to what a lot of people think, actually increase the wages of native-born workers. And the reason why is that as they take on, as undocumented workers tend to take on lower skill jobs that don't require English, that don't require as much social skills, that forces native born workers to in fact trade up in terms of their education, in terms of the skill set. And the, so the evidence is that undocumented workers actually support higher native born wages where they actually do compete with is for previous uh, undocumented workers.